Hey there, I'm Eliza with Ancestral Evolution, and today we're talking about the top five reasons I think that milk kefir is superior to yogurt. So number one, milk kefir has way more probiotic organisms than yogurt does. Typically, your average yogurt will have between five and six different species of bacteria in there. Milk kefir, on the other hand, has over 30 different species of organisms, both bacteria and yeast. Not only that, those organisms in the milk kefir have been shown to be able to colonize the human gut, whereas those in yogurt have not. That means that milk kefir actually works as a probiotic. It can add microbes back to your intestines and your gut, whereas yogurt, while it's beneficial to your gut, is not going to add those organisms to your gut. Number two, milk kefir is much easier to make. The process of making yogurt includes heating milk, cooling it down to the right temperature, adding the culture, incubating it at the right temperature. Whereas making kefir, you simply add your milk to your grains, stick it in a jar, and sit it at room temperature for about 24 hours or so. And voila, your kefir is done. And you didn't have to do hardly any work. The microbes did all the work for you. Number three, secondary ferment milk kefir has virtually no lactose and it also breaks down some of the casein proteins. So those people who have trouble with lactose and have trouble with um, some dairy intolerance or casein intolerance may be able to tolerate secondary ferment kefir, whereas they may not be able to tolerate yogurt. Number four, because you're making milk kefir from kefir grains, you're not gonna have microbial drift over time. And basically what that is, is if you're making a batch of yogurt, you save a little bit of that batch to make your next batch, and then you save a little bit of that batch to make your next batch. So if at some point throughout the process you get a contaminant or something else happens, that is gonna be carried on to your subsequent batches. Whereas with milk kefir, because you're using kefir grains to make your kefir, those bacteria and yeast colonies are pretty stable over time. They can, they can change a little bit, um, but not nearly as much. And, and you're using those same grains to make batch after batch after batch. In fact, kefir grains used to be handed down as kind of a family heirloom, shall we say, kind of handed down generation after generation after generation. So if you get to milk kefir grains, you can make kefir for the rest of your life and you can give your kefir grains to your children and your grandchildren. Number five, because milk kefir does not have to be heated to make it, you can make it with raw milk and you can preserve many of the beneficial properties of the raw milk in, as opposed to yogurt, where you are basically pasteurizing the milk before you're making the yogurt. So I think that milk kefir is a better for you, easier to make, and just all around a superior fermented product. But if you disagree with me, or you can think of a reason that I didn't list, please mention it in the comment section and I'll have a look. And if you want to learn how to make both milk kefir and yogurt and some other great fermented dairy products, check out our Skillshare class on fermented dairy and I'll put a link in the show notes below. So anyway, Hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time.